All right, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can export some high-resolution content uh, in Unreal Engine 4.26. Now, the environment we're going to be using is this thing called Downtown West Modular Set. It's actually free. It's right here. If you go to the Marketplace, you'll see it on top, but it's also right here. But um, if you haven't checked out all these free assets, man, uh, go ahead and definitely check it out in the Marketplace. There's a lot of stuff that are free. So every month, the free stuff changes. But once you download it, it's free forever. So as so you can see right here, every month I just download everything that I see just in case, you know, I'll need it one day. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and I have the um, asset right here open already. And uh, what we're going to do first is go ahead and enable the movie render queue because that is how you export high resolution. So edit, plugins, and I'm going to go ahead and type in movie, render, and I have the render queue enabled. I have the additional render passes enabled as well. So go ahead and enable those and restart your Unreal Engine 4. So to save some time, I went ahead and enabled it. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you are getting this error right here, texture streaming pullover size, uh, go ahead and go to your window, developer tool, and go to your output log. And it should pop up right here. It's kind of like your command line. And after that, you just type in pull size. And you should see streaming pool size, enter, and you're going to see it's only 1,000 megabytes. So we're going to increase that to something like 20,000, 20, and that error message should go away. So this plugin, uh, the movie render queue, is still in beta phase. So uh, this, what we're about to do right now is really just trial and error. So if you want to try it out, go ahead. But... I'm pretty sure it's not going to work in every scenario or every scene you have. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just find a nice scene that we're going to be taking a picture at. Pretty nice. Uh, let's just take a picture of these little flowers right here. This looks really cool, this environment here. So uh, what we're going to do is actually create a new sequence. So add level sequence. I'm just going to I'm just going to go ahead and leave that as default. And then what I'm going to do is create a camera. You know, it's okay. So we're about right there. And if you want to check your focus plane, you can click on the camera and you can go to lens focus, actually focus settings. You can click on focus plane right here and you can actually see where your focus is. And just turn it off when you're done because if not, that is going to render. Okay, so now that we have the little scene set up here, I'm going to go ahead and check out our place camera. And I do have the cinema camera actor 38, it looks like. So that's what we're checking out right there. And we already set the focus. So all we have to do now is go to our movie render queue. So I know what you're thinking. You can just take a high resolution screenshot from here. But the only problem with this is it doesn't really give you as much options as the movie render queue. So if you want something quick, you can do that here. But let me go ahead and show you how to do it in the movie render queue. So go to Windows, Cinematics, and Movie Render Queue. And then we're going to go ahead and add a new render. We're going to choose our sequence. First things first, let's go ahead and click on our unsaved config right here. I'm going to turn off JPEG. I'm going to go ahead and go to Settings. Add anti-aliasing. I'm going to go ahead and get the high resolution. And I'm going to go ahead and do PNG because I'd rather have PNG than JPEG. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the anti-aliasing. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put temporal sample count right here. And I'm going to show you why. So you can see right here. And then what we're going to do is override anti-aliasing so that it's going to overwrite the actual project. And it's pretty much just going to use none right here. And then the engine warm-up count is pretty much, uh, if you put frames here, that means that it's going to warm up the engine 32 frames. That means it's not going to export anything until it's done warming up after 32 frames. So it's a good idea to do that so that, you know, you get the best quality out of your exports. And then what we're going to do is go to our high resolution and we're just going to follow the default setting that it's telling us to use. All right. So for the tile count, I'm going to go ahead and do four. So basically how this works is it's going to take four tiles and stitch them all together to create your image, similar to how the Aria Alexa takes two sensors stitched together to get that high resolution image. So overlap ratio, we're going to use it says 0.1 right here by default so let's go ahead and use that and everything else should be good now read over here it's going to say this is going to render 16 tiles each uh, you can't use bloom some screen space effects 
And then additionally, TAA and auto exposure are not supported, so it's gonna be forced off. But what we're gonna do is just turn that off in our camera just to be just to be sure. And then we're gonna go to output. I'm gonna go ahead and save this in this folder. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with 8K first, and then we'll go up to see if I can crash my computer here. So 7680 by 4320. Use, use custom frame rate 24 frames per second i'm gonna go ahead and just render one frame to see if we can even do it 25 to 26 is fine and then i'm gonna accept now before i do the render local i'm gonna go ahead and go to the camera and then after that i'm gonna go ahead and go to my lens right here and go to exposure and tick manual and then just increase this to like 11 so it's you know that looks pretty good for now now obviously our uh, mesh right here and our texture is not really high quality but I'm just showing you guys how to do it okay so that being said let's go ahead and save before I render local so that it saved all of our changes and after that let's go ahead and try this all right so you can see right here engine warm-up frame is 32 frames so it's warming up before it actually exports an image so after this is done you're gonna see something pop up here and there you go and as you can see it is a little bit blurry because we're only seeing one of the tile because it is just a low quality there you go it's showing you the other tile so after this is done right here you should be getting our final image there you go no error messages so if we go to our folder I'm gonna go ahead and open this in Photoshop okay so in Photoshop as you can see it looks pretty nice look at that nice bokeh so obviously it is flat so you have to convert it but as you can see it's nice you have that 8k and like I said the texture is really not that great but man that looks really good you know it's so oh it's pretty high quality if you had better textures it would look better it would look more photorealistic uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and push this to we're gonna go ahead and push it to 12k so i'm gonna go ahead and minimize this uh let's just see if i can break my computer here so i'm gonna go to output and let's do 12k so 12 288 by 6 480 and what i'm gonna do is actually change the folder because it's gonna overwrite the other one so we're gonna do 12k create it there and let's see if this crashes in all right so accept and then render local Alright guys, so I actually had to pause the recording because it was taking a little bit longer than our 8K render. So let's go ahead and check it out in Photoshop. Go ahead and 12K and double click this and it is 46.5 megabytes for this 12K footage here or 12K PNG. Alright, so here is our 12K footage from Unreal Engine 4. That, oh man, that's crazy. How nuts is this? I mean, let me look at the other one, what we just did, which is the 8K. So you got the 12K and you have the 8K right here. But yeah, guys, that's how you use the movie render queue to export high resolution images out of Unreal Engine 4.